To mark the 200th anniversary of the founding of the town of Greece, the Greece Historical Society presents a bicentennial snapshot. Each week, we take a look at a particular aspect of Greece history. This week and next, we look at members of three longtime resident families of North Greece. One was a doctor, one was a cooper, one was a baseball player and farmer. We will begin with the doctor. Like Ada, Henpeck, and Husik, the North Greece hamlet of Jenkin Corners also had a resident doctor. He was Abdile Bliss Carpenter. Abdile Bliss Carpenter was born in Seneca, Ontario County, New York, on May 11, 1809. He was the son of Daniel and Lydia Smith Carpenter. He was educated at Geneva Academy, today Hobart College, and at age 17 was certified to teach in Benton, Yates County. But Carpenter really wanted to be a doctor. So he began a preceptorship with Dr. Anthony Gage. In 1827, he moved to North Greece and continued his training with a Dr. M. B. Gage. In 1830, at the age of 21, Carpenter married Jane Louisa Raleigh of North Greece. Her family's farm was on the southwest side of North Greece Road, not far from Jenkins Corners. This photo of the Raleigh homestead was in a photo album recently donated to the Greece Historical Society and which we were thrilled to receive. The couple's first home was a small, crude log cabin erected at the rear of the old Methodist brick church. They dined at a table made from a thick slab of wood resembling a butcher's meat cutting table. It was common practice in that time for someone who wanted to be a doctor to attend medical school after acquiring some medical training. After his marriage, Carpenter went to the Fairfield Medical School in Herkimer, New York. He obtained his degree to practice physic and surgery in 1831. The next year, he purchased the practice of Dr. M.B. Gage and commenced a career that would last 34 years. Like Samuel Beach Bradley and Husik, Dr. Carpenter kept a log of all the children he assisted into this world. Dr. Carpenter was described by his grandson, Frank, who also became a doctor, as, quote, a serious practitioner, a self-made man of no-nonsense personality, end quote. He would make his calls on horseback, wearing a Prince Albert frock coat and a top hat. In addition to his medical practice, Dr. Carpenter served two terms as supervisor of the town of Greece in 1843 and 1848. Abdile and Jane Louisa had seven children before her death in 1859. Two years later, he married Carolyn Speary, with whom he had three more children. In 1830, Dr. Carpenter had purchased land on both sides of Ladder Road. His office was on the south side. Eventually, he retired to devote his time to farming and turned his practice over to his son, Abdile Milton Carpenter, or Dr. Mitt, as his patients called him. On the north side, on land that was once owned by Lewis Combs, he cleared 100 acres and planted wheat. The first year of farming produced such a bumper crop, Dr. Carpenter was able to pay off all his debts. Abdile Bliss Carpenter also built a splendid home on the north side of Ladder Road across from his office. The original house was built around the 1840s as a story and a half rectangular edifice. The small porch on the west is most likely a remnant of a porch running across the front. The house had 15 rooms after the second floor, front addition, and pillars were added in the early 1860s. The house still stands at 3490 Ladder Road. We will go into more detail on that house and others in a future snapshot on historic homes. After suffering a stroke that paralyzed him, Abdile Bliss Carpenter died January 9, 1896, at the age of 86. He is buried in the Falls Cemetery. Thanks for joining us this week. Next week, we will introduce you to two more longtime residents of North Greece, Thomas Toll and Jerome Combs. This is Maureen Whalen inviting you to join us next Tuesday for another Bicentennial Snapshot presented by the Greece Historical Society. Want to learn more from the Greece Historical Society and Museum? Then click that subscribe button for more content and hit that bell icon to get notified when there's more Bicentennial Snapshots. You can visit us on the web at greasehistoricalsociety.org. You can find us on Facebook at Greece Historical Society. You can follow us on Twitter at Greece NY History. And you can stop in at the Greece Historical Society at 595 Long Pound Road.